the Apple Watch Ultra, is it worth it? What do you think? What's going on, Swim fans? I'm here at the pool and I am unboxing the new Apple Watch Ultra. This is the newest Apple Watch I'm upgrading on mine. And in this video, I'm gonna share with you a full breakdown of everything that this watch has to offer. I'm gonna run through a full swim workout. I'm gonna do an open water workout and I'm gonna share my pro tips on if I think this Apple Watch is worth it. I've done over 1,000 different swim workouts with the Apple Watch, so I have a lot of experience that I'm gonna share with you guys in this video. Let's go ahead and get right into it. I just opened up the Apple Watch Ultra. First impressions, it looks pretty sweet, it looks slick, it feels very professional, but it doesn't actually weigh that much. It, it looks much larger than the existing Apple Watch. This is the Series 7. Now this is a 49 millimeter titanium, and this is the Midnight watch band. There's a few different watch bands. It looks pretty slick, but I'm so excited to get in the water and swim with this for the first time. And I wanna make sure you have the opportunity to do that as well. So I'm actually gonna give away an Apple Watch Ultra. Here's how you enter to win. All you have to do is subscribe to the channel and head down below in the comments and let me know what your favorite swim set is. And I'm going to give away an Apple Watch Ultra. Let's put a timeline in the next two weeks from the time that we publish this video. You're gonna have to tell me what your favorite swim set is and someone's gonna walk away with the Apple Watch Ultra. So before I get in the pool, I'm actually gonna load a My Swim Pro workout. I'm gonna put the My Swim Pro app on the watch. I'm gonna load through a workout and I'm gonna go and experience the Apple Watch Ultra just like I've done a thousand plus other swim workouts right there in the My Swim Pro app. Let's go. Starting in 2016 with the Series 2, Apple made all their watches water resistant to 50 meters, but the Ultra takes it to another level with a depth rating of 100 meters. It has IP6X dust resistance and is EN13319 certified, which is the internationally recognized standard for diving accessories. More on that in a little bit when I go for my open water swim. And over the years, I've used multiple Apple Watches, Garmin devices, Fitbit, Wear OS, you name it. But I come back to the Apple Watch because it has the best overall experience. For my fitness routine, it's most important to have a watch that I can load my workouts onto so I maximize my time in the water. You can track swims with a native workout app on the Apple Watch, but for me and most swimmers, that's not going to cut it. And that's why we developed the My Swim Pro app to not only track your workouts, but also get a personalized coaching experience at a fraction of the cost of hiring a personal swim coach and it's all done right there on your wrist it's an absolutely amazing experience which is why it was named by apple as the best app of the year on the apple watch the app has workouts and training plans that are personalized to your swimming goals speed and skill level you just open up the My Swim Pro app on your watch and boom, the workout is loaded and we're ready to go. For today's pool swim, I'm gonna do the workout of the day, which has a warm up, preset, main set, and cool down. Now you could just swim back and forth with the My Swim Pro app and it'll track your distance, it'll show your heart rate and detect your strokes, but the benefit of doing a guided workout is having structure, variety, and the accountability to follow a plan and make consistent improvement. In an upcoming video, I'm gonna share how I use the Apple Watch to swim faster, so make sure you're subscribed to my channel to see that video. Each set within the workout is telling me what stroke to swim, for how far, what effort level, and if I'm going to use any of my equipment. The intervals are personalized to me so I have enough rest at the wall between each rep of the workout. It's literally like having a personal coach on your wrist, and I know it's helped me stay accountable over all the years. With the Apple Watch Ultra, the My Swim Pro Coach is that much more powerful with a larger and brighter screen and just so much more durable than prior models. There's even an action button, which all the other models do not have. And when I'm done with the swim, I can review my workout summary on my iPhone where I can see all my lap splits, heart rate, and other metrics like how many strokes I took on each rep of each set. The pool experience with the Apple Watch Ultra is fantastic, but what about open water swimming? Now, even if you're not planning on swimming in the open water, it's good to know how durable and rugged the watch actually is. To put the Apple Watch Ultra to the test,
contest. I'm in the sea off the coast of Thailand for an epic open water swim with the fish. What's going on, swim fans? We are here in the open water, beautiful Thailand. We're gonna go an open water swim now with the Apple Watch Ultra, but I wanna tell you guys how amazing this Ultra is for open water and all the different things that it can do. So Adam's gonna join me, co-founder and CTO of My Swim Pro. Tell us about the Apple Watch Ultra. Yeah, so it has a dual band GPS, which is really helpful with open water swimming because it'll make your uh, swimming track uh, almost twice as accurate because it'll get twice as many satellites. Uh, it can go 150 feet under the water and it can get the water temperature while you're swimming. Mm -hmm. And also when you go deep underwater, it's automatically going to detect your depth, right? Yeah, that's so cool. So when you go in the water, it automatically starts the depth app. It counts how long you've been underwater and how far you go and it logs every dive you do to Apple Health. Anything else about the Ultra compared to the Series 8? The battery lasts a lot longer, so you can swim that 15K that's been in your dreams. 15K? <laughs> or how much are we going to swim open water? I don't know. Well, the 15K sounded good to me, but if we want, we can do 10 for you. Okay, I'll go 10K, you go 15K. Perfect. <laughs> Great. Sounds good. Let's go forward. While there was no chance of me doing a 10K, let alone a 15K, we dove in and swam open water in one of the most beautiful settings in the world. Even if you're not blessed to swim in such an environment, the Apple Watch Ultra has some fun party tricks that the other Apple Watches do not have. When you dive underwater, it'll automatically measure your depth and the GPS tracking is on another level. Swimming in open water is an amazing experience to be one with nature. And while you're mesmerized by the beauty of Thailand's coastline, remember to enter to win that Apple Watch Ultra giveaway by letting me know what your favorite swim set is down below in the comments. Remember, you only have two weeks to enter. When you're swimming in open water, the durability is key and the Ultra feels as rugged as any of its competitors. Thailand is beautiful, great open water swim. So tell me, what are your thoughts? Uh, the Apple Watch Ultra, is it worth it? What do you think? I think it's worth it. You got the better battery life. You got the dual band GPS. You got the action button that can uh, do a lot of cool things with the My Swim Pro app and other workout apps as well. Uh, I think, and it's really rugged. So if you want to get those hard open water swims in, go for it. Yeah, I think the biggest thing for me is actually the battery life because yeah. one of the things that annoys me about the non-ultra is that you have to charge it every single day. And so the fact that you can go for a super long open water swim, you can even do a full Ironman and you can still go multiple days without having to charge it, that's a huge win. Yeah, for sure. I, I go uh, three days without charging it. So what do you think about why the My Super App is great on the Apple Watch Ultra? Well, the bigger screen means you have bigger real estate for the bigger numbers, so you can more easily see your splits and how far you've been swimming. Uh, and you got the action button, so when you hit it, you can uh, pause and resume without unlocking water lock uh, and a lot of other new features coming soon with that. Mm -hmm. Any other thoughts about the Apple Watch Ultra or comparing it to the Series 8 or whatever? You can hit it on the side of the pool and it won't break because it's got that cool rim on the side. It's indestructible! You heard it Almost. Here. <laughs> you heard it here first. And if you guys enjoyed this video, let me know what questions you have down below in the comments. Any questions about the My Swim Pro app, how to swim with the Apple Watch Ultra, or any other Apple Watch or smartwatch, let us know what you guys think. And I'll catch you guys at the next video. Happy swimming. Bye.